Okay. Well, this general question of recognition and reputation took a strange twist during my uh, sabbatical year at Harvard. I was there really to help Jerry Holton in his Harvard Project Physics, but chiefly I was to work on a revised edition of our textbook, a new edition. And uh, if any of you have been at Harvard or Cambridge, it's so easy to get distracted up there and not to do your work. Uh, and I was walking through Harvard Square thinking that I really should get back to work on a revision when I walked into a bookstore and there I saw a sign, used textbooks downstairs. So I went down and even though they were using our text at Harvard then, there was no used copy of Halliday and Resnick or Resnick and Halliday, but every other book was there. So I walked up to the manager who didn't know who I was and said, how come you don't have a copy of Resnick and Halliday? He said, oh, we would never have a copy of that. I said, why not? And with a smug knowing air, he looked at me. He said, don't you know they're coming out with a new version any day now? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I looked at him and it really had an effect on me. I figured that uh, he had that much confidence that I was going to come out with it. I better get to work. And you know what? I, mean? <laughs> I really got to work and we caught up the schedule somehow. So I owe him a lot. Well, I referred earlier to the large number of letters, or maybe I didn't, I should have, the large number of letters I received. They've averaged, if I take an average, it's about two a week, 100 a year, about 4,000 letters I've got. Not send me a free copy of the book or it's a solution to this problem, but sort of communications about physics and physics teaching. And it got to the point where I had to categorize them. And one category is, I want to help you letter. Got a lot of those. Now here's an example. Dear Mr. Resnick, in your book Physics, there are numerous mistakes or at least a lack of clarity in your explanations of conservation of linear momentum, angular momentum, and energy. I will dwell on only the most obvious, and after hearing your reply, we can take it from there. <laughs> well, having put me down, he then proceeds to straighten me out with the specifics. Now, this is typical of such letters, but what was special about this one was his postscript, P.S. I am in an astronautics group, and the theory here is going to have an important bearing on rendezvous in NASA's Project Gemini. We anxiously await your reply. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't want to slow down the space program. So I wrote him a detailed explanation of just where he went wrong and why the book was right. And back came his reply, essentially ignoring my comments, repeating his original conclusion, and raising still more questions for me to answer. Well, I called this talk, So You Want to Write a Textbook? And here's an example of what I mean. I saw a correspondence course developing, obviously. And that's a terrible danger. Four million correspondents, <laughs> or what have you. It's not an uncommon danger for textbook authors. And so somehow I rationalized that Project Gemini would work out without my assistance. And you know, it did somehow. Well, there's another interesting category. Will you help me letter? Dear Professor Resnick, I'm a design engineer with such and such corporation. I've recently come across your two volumes of physics while browsing through the bookstore. I must say they're a far cry from the old houseman and slack that I took years ago. Do some of you remember that far back? Oh, come on, sure you do. Okay, after showing the books to some of the fellows at work, this is poor English, they have obtained copies and some interesting questions develop. These questions not only develop at work, but my wife is interested in knowing the answer to the question of the lazy Susan and the little cockroach of Mass M. <laughs> Can we have the next slide? and I want people to be able to see this. Well, there's a crumb there, uh, the cockroach starts, it goes after it, and he gets the crumb, and I guess we claim that it stops at that point. I told her that the table must stop when the roach stops to eat the breadcrumb, and she doesn't believe it. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm sure I'm correct. Will you please write to my wife? <laughs> The next two letters enabled me to combine the two categories, the will you help me category. I got a letter from a student in Singapore. He writes, 
I have the solutions to all the problems in your book in Chinese. Can you send them to me in English? <laughs> so that's the first clue I had that the book was in Chinese. I never knew that. And it turned out later it had been in there Chinese from 1960, from the very first day. I learned that much later. Anyhow, I don't have the solutions to the problems. I tell everybody that the things I don't understand, I put in a problem sense. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, I got another letter in the other category. I want to help you letter. This is a, le a letter from Professor of Physics at Caltech. Dear Robert, I mean, he doesn't really know me. I don't know if the underground publications of the West Coast make it back to Troy, New York, or if you have had an opportunity to obtain this complete exposition of the detailed solutions to all your problems without blood, sweat, and tears. But I thought you might be interested. And then he sends me a copy, and I'm sorry I couldn't reproduce it. Uh, no more blood, sweat, and tears. Solutions to all the problems in Halliday and Resnick in four volumes, $30 a volume. <laughs> and he writes here, it's a bit sobering to note that the detailed solutions to the problems retail at a substantially higher figure than the textbook itself. <laughs> All the best wishes to you. Well, that was easy. What I did was I sent... Was there any publication Excuse me? Was there any publication problems? Was there a publication problem? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Is there publication problems with someone that published solutions? Oh, well, that was a copyright violation, of course, yeah. if that's what you're referring to. But I solved both problems. I sent this uh, brochure advertising the solutions to the problems to the guy in Singapore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, <clears throat> and what the, none of them knew is that we were, in fact, coming out with a new edition with a completely scrambled set of problems and new problems anyhow. So it wouldn't have helped either, either party. Now, I don't know how to categorize this letter. Dear Bob Resnick, see, there's somebody who knows me. Recently, I happened to read Problem 20, page 208 of Resnick and Halliday, Physics Part 1, about N men jumping from one end of a flat car at a speed of V-rel relative to the flat car. And I was ashamed to find that it was not obvious whether the car would reach a higher final speed if the men jumped off sequentially. So I brought up the matter at our Cambridge Electronic Accelerator lunch a week ago with 12 PhDs in physics present, and all of them except me said that the answer was no. That is, it doesn't matter if the men jump sequentially or at the same time. Worse, they all claimed that this answer was self-evident. So I thought about the matter a bit at home that evening, and I soon realized that the answer is yes. So I wrote up a small proof. Yes, Virginia, there is a difference. I think that's the next slide. Yes, well, here are the men jumping off all at once and sequentially. And the next slide shows what he, post, what he put up on the bulletin board. Yes, Virginia, there is a difference with a complete solution uh, to the problem. Then he goes on to say, to my horror, most of them still claim that the answer was no. Instead of paying attention to my little essay, they preferred to present long equations filled with mistakes proving that they were right. But a happy ending. Each day since then, one or two of these men have slunk into my office to confess that I was right. The final speed of the car is greater if the men jump off sequentially. And then he spoils the whole letter by saying, I hope you agree.